Series canceled. <laughs> what? How high is that? How high is that? All right, so I can step on this and things will rotate. I clearly need these two really big ones in order to get up there. And so I need to use these guys to get them out, which I can because they're magnetic. So there's that going for me, is that they're magnets. Also, this area is so big that I can easily separate all of these pieces, so I don't have to worry about them being stuck together like they have been in the past. Oh, shit. Being all magnety and shit. But I can see why they did that, because this place... Uh, these things are magnetic, so if they ever touched, I'd be screwed. So they, they might be taking it easy on me, or this might be super necessary. This level of easy. We'll see. We shall see. Pretty much have to be like that, right? That's not how the rotating works. Do it like that, then like that. Yeah! Except for not, because it doesn't quite work, because it's gonna... This is sticking up one by one, which means if something attached to that, uh, it would stick down by one. No, that side, but then that side. There we go. So you can actually see where it's going to be. When I rotate it, it's going to stick way up in the air. So I think the issue is now that I need to have this come back down to this height, at least, so that I can actually grab it again, I think. Now it's one too high, right? Like I can still walk through here? Yep. That's my wild assumption. This can't work though, can it? I think I'm on the wrong path. As I often am in life. Because now it's just going to be even, right? Which means that like now I can't push it in the hole, right? Now it doesn't fall in. Is that the key to it all? Well, now the entire thing is just up in the air, hovering. Yeah, how do I get it back out? Curious. That might have something to do with the weird... The rotating bit. What a glorious sound. Bah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if that is distinctly useful or not. I'm flailing in the dark. I'm flailing in the dark. This one's weird. Oh my god. Okay, this one's scary. Let's just start over. Formulate a new plan from scratch, instead of trying to make this one work. I avoided this side because it seemed like it might be more complicated, but this might be the easier side, because this has me a, gives me a mechanism of moving something. Which might be how I lift it out, when I have the piece. Perhaps. I don't know. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. This one's... Scary. Um.
Same thing as before, really. Roll it on its side, and then push it in. But then I want to have the other thing sticking off the top of it go over that. And then maybe that'll let it rotate out once it's captured the piece I want. Is the idea. I would hope. So... But how would I do that? It even like rotates the wrong direction, doesn't it? Get you out of the way for a bit. Uh... Huh. Is it even possible to get you to face the way I want you to? So that you go onto that hook thing. I appreciate that they gave me a, a mountain of open space to work with here. Although I think that'll quickly diminish in usefulness. Once those giant beams start getting involved in the process. And also these the things are moving around are such massive contraptions. Like how would one even get that to touch the thing so I can twist it out? Could plan on rotating it this way, in which case I can make you face Okay, I need to get- need a little space first. Uh... Here we go. I can work with that. Yeah, make you stand up. And then just rotate this way instead. Ah. One. Down. Boom. Checkpoint. Quick save. I do wish I could quick save in this game sometimes. Just to have, like, this particular state I could refer to- revert back to. I'm like, this seems like it's important, and then keep this. Instead of either- instead of only being able to backstep one at a time or restart entirely. It'd be kind of nice to be able to revert to this ex exact state. It wasn't hard to get to, though. So it's- I could just get it again, I suppose. I guess. Okay, so we have one beam. It's mine. I need the other one now, and then I need to make them so tall that they fit onto this thing. And I hopefully will have made a chain of items that fit together in a manner where that can even be used correctly. <laughs> what do I even do with this? I kind of think that I just attach these two to the tail. Somehow. And then just, like, stick it in, and pull it out, and then the pipe is excavated. Right. You're facing the wrong way for this part. potentially need a lot of space for some of these manipulations. Alright. How am I gonna make this work? You need to be facing straight up, so that when it dips down, it grabs it. How's that going to be at the right angle, though? I don't know. That didn't work at all. How deep is this hole? I assume it's only like one deep. Son of a bitch. Um...
I'm gonna re- oh no, I was doing that thing where I run around a lot. I'm gonna rewind back to when I had just the- just finished the previous part of the puzzle, basically. Man, this has me thinking in some crazy dimensions that I wasn't thinking about until now. Because you're talking about really large rotating objects. Yeah, a quick save system would be really nice right about now. Oh my goodness, this takes a while. There we go, you go away. Alright. The one thing I feel good about is this part. Because the way that I, it fit together to get to extract it felt so perfect for the shape of the environment that it, it feels like that was probably the exact solution and that I probably didn't deviate in any way. I was wondering if this could fit back inside the pipe at all. I mean, in the, back in the hole, but it, it's, it is too long and you can't make it shorter. It's like the, its length will always be the same size on this end. So I can't use this giant pipe to extract it. What I was hoping would be able to, I'd be able to do. I'm wondering... Because what I kind of expect to happen is I think that I'll need to create a two-part little thing to extract this one and then somehow attach it to the end of this one somewhere to like rotate it out. Because otherwise I don't think I could- like, this is all the way over here, I can't, like, reach this crane or whatever you want to call it via over here. Like, it's just so far away. I think. I guess I should fit the two of you together. One way or another that's going to be involved, I think. That doesn't make you fall in, though. How do I effectively... Yeah, I'm really stuck at square one, aren't I? How do I make it go in the hole? I'm trying to remember how I did it a moment ago. Uh... I did the same thing up here. How did I... I, I... Damn it, I was thinking about other shit, and I've, like, lost the train of thought of how I got that to work. I can't just rotate it in. <laughs> that was an interesting view. Something more like that, yeah. That kind of multi- there we go, it's that- I have to stand it up on its side. And then push it in when it's already on its side. Okay, that's why it seems impossible, I get it. I think I've attached it on its wrong end. It might be possible to r rotate it or something enough to get what I want, but I, I think I'm just going to detach them and reattach them so that they actually face the right way. Because that's why it seemed impo- I think that's why it seemed impossible. There might be a complex rotation you can do. But that's what I need to do, is to have you facing like this, so that then I can knock it in. There we go. I remembered a thing. Which way should the other part face? I'm not altogether sure, to be honest. It might be best just to have it face outward this time instead of at a cocked angle because of the crane maybe not being relevant to this part. But yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this part. Um, get you around the drain, because it blocks. We're gonna go on an adventure! A 
confusing, confusing adventure. Uh, I actually want you on the other side. And I need you to be prepped to rotate in the right direction. If I push this side, nothing rotates, thankfully. It's going to be too tall, isn't it? Is it too tall, or did it fit? I think it's too tall. It's got to be too tall, right? Because this is... Yeah, one, two, three, four is the height of one of these guys. How do I get around that? Because, yeah, this one's dipped one deep into the ground. Can I Steven sausage roll it? Like, hook it? Just walked around it several times while I'm trying to go walk into it. Ugh. Don't do that. <laughs> Startling. <laughs> Gotta go walk all the way around. Oh, it somehow moves forward enough to not hook it, I guess. Frustratingly. Dong, 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 dong. I guess I don't really need to rotate it necessarily. I see if I if I, now it's taller, so maybe it'll hook it now. It just doesn't rotate. So if it blocks, it'll just not rotate. So it will not catch it. Like it will not latch onto it and move it as a result. It will just slide out and then it'll rotate when it's free. So no, you cannot just like use friction to move things in this game. It has to physically attach to it in order to move it. Which is frustrating, because that seemed like it would work. I wouldn't mind having camera angles right about now, frankly. Uh, having to view this completely from a top-down angle makes it a little hard to make things out, and all the things I'm interacting with are pure white. So the, the depth is kind of gone. Kind of have to preemptively count how tall things are supposed to be. So if my character is an altitude of 1, this thing sticks up to an altitude of 2 when it's standing up, but this thing sticks up to an altitude of 3. But each of these pieces is an even number of height change. How do I attach them? Ah, shit. This is gonna be weird. Alright, let's rewind a lot. My next course of thought... Wow, this, this could take a while. I really do like my idea of having the ability to quick save <laughs> In specific states. Uh, my next course of thought is the idea that maybe we want to take the one on the bottom and maybe we want to make a series of pipes that lay flat under the underground and then I use the crane again to extract it when it sticks out all the way over here. Like maybe I can make a contraption that will make it make it go into range. Oh, I thought I, would, I thought I would start hammering the B button, but honestly, I if I put the effort into mash it as fast as possible, I end up basically just accomplishing the same pace that it was already doing when I hold it down. Go, go, go. Every single action you do counts. Every single step you take counts. It all adds up. Oh my goodness. There we go. Alright. So let's not plan on sticking out at all. Instead, let's doom ourselves to oblivion. Ta da! I don't know if that'll be good or not. I'm not really very confident about it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping that maybe I can... 
reach it somehow. I'm not really con- uh, how is that gonna work still? Only one way to find out, which is through lots of experimentation. What is the exact height change? How does that work exactly? Uh. Huh. <laughs> That's interesting. What, though, exactly? H how? What? It, he can push it down but not back up? Wait, so it fi it, it clips. It was definitely clipping through the pipe a second ago, right? When it was one tile higher, it was clipping through it. It wasn't physically suspended in the air above me because I'm able to push it, which means that it's it's actually clipping through the pipe when it's at that height. So when you do this, it clips into the pipe. And they're sharing the same space. Which is not generally how the pipes work in this game. Huh. Interesting, though. Being able to move it by one could be what I need. Somehow. I don't know, being closer to the edge might be useful. But I still have the problem of how do I attach these two. If, uh... I'm kind of making the mistake of thinking about this in terms of like a puzzle, a thing you could hold in your hand. Because if I could just physically pick up, like, if imagine this is all to scale, as in like that's like the size of like a screw compared to us, the human audience watching this on the screen. If I could grab the handle here and just hold it up, like you, yeah, you could hold it in a position where the bo that that bottom part that's dipping in would rotate 90 degrees in a way where like it, it like if we pulled the handle towards us, it would connect to the pipe. And the, but the handle would be sticking out towards us. But yeah, there's no way to do that as this character. And if I did that, it would be on the right height at the very least to be able to go on top of this little, I don't know, thumbprint rotator thing. Except it'd still be on the wrong axis. It wouldn't be able to be physically... The handle would not be able to be rotated in a direction where it would rest on top of that. So I'm still on totally the wrong track. I'm having trouble seeing what the right track is. But this puzzle's crazy. I do kind of wonder that since... Since the top one was kind of easy to get, I wonder if it's best to try to get the bottom one first. This might call for a reset. It should be easy to get the top one again from here on out, now that I've solved it before, so it's I'm not too concerned at this point. But I'm wondering if there's a way to create a, uh, use what I've learned, make like some sort of machination that pulls this thing out. And then maybe we're golden? Because if I get this one out, then maybe I can like p shift the other one around enough to get the other one out the way that I did before. I don't know. This one, uh, is... <laughs> this looks really hard. <laughs> No. I think I see it. I think I see it. I thought I could make it stand up along here and then have a little hook sticking off of this guy and then pull it out by rotating it. I think I need to make the long part touch the elevator thing, the twisty spot, I don't know. I think this needs to be touching 
this. And then this has to attach to this, which means I need to flip the entire thing. Let's get you out of the way. That should be possible. Oops. Oh, man. All right. So I need you to be turned on your side. It needs to be like this, but then tipped over on its side into here. Which is where we start having to deal with some really weird 3D thinking. Um... Because I have to push it up onto its side like this in order to make that possible. Except you also have to somehow be in that other direction. How do I get you to face the right way? None of my rotation options are going to make it face right, which is the way it has to face. So there must be a way to use this elevator thing. I don't know why I'm calling it that now. Uh, there must be a way to use this twist thing to change it. Um... How do I get you to touch this so I can rotate you again? That's more or less my intention. So even if I push it in like this, I'm not sure if it'll touch... Oh yeah, I can't even push it in like that. I don't know, does it touch it anyway? No. How do I close that gap? Oh shit, I messed up earlier. I have to undo whenever that... There it is, that's when it happened. <laughs> Otherwise the, so the puzzle will become unsolvable. The main thing that comes to mind is maybe I can stick one of these on the end? Collisions are really amusing. Alright. You need to be laying flat or this doesn't work. Now running out of space. You really get pushed over when I'm there, huh? Alright, well, I've, I can fix that. How am I going to get you hooked? What is my... Shit. I got stuck on a movement problem of how to manipulate something and lost track of what my actual goal was. And where I was going with that. Interestingly, this is similar to what I was trying to go for. Which is that. The problem being that when it's in that shape, we get stuck in a situation where the tall bar is pointing upward vertically as opposed to across towards that 
elevator that can lift it out. I think this is a dead end thought process. Wow, it takes a while to rewind all this because of all the moving around I had to do. I'm just trying to get it back to when I had the one stick that I have these guys on their own. Yeah. You go back to being on your own. Not sure what I'm going to do with you. Uh, okay. I think the total works out. Maybe? No. I know I'm doing it this way, it's easier to get it out the other way. I... If I flip the entire thing over, it might be possible to reach it across. There's so much like doing long laps around the whole thing. Uh... Nah ha ha ha. That gets it rotated. Hmm. So, what happens if I push it in like this then? Is that. Do my dreams come true? It's been so long. Uh, that absolutely felt good to see change. This has been... So we're playing this... What, months later, I want to say? Since I filmed the previous episode. I mean, this episode started those months ago and then skipped forward to now. By the time the montage was over. And... Ah, uh, that's just what I was trying to get to do. Getting stuck on a puzzle is so not good for your schedule. <laughs> when you try to do daily videos, I'm a little, I'm a little like, but I, what I didn't realize is I was stuck in like a snowy cliff. Was like the problem is that like the longer I, the longer I didn't come back to this game, the harder it came became to get back to this game. I've had multiple days where I launched this game, look at this puzzle, and I'm like, oh no, it's been so long that my brain can't react to the idea of even trying this game anymore. I don't understand it anymore. But I'm finally... The breakthrough has happened. We can, uh, we can do this. I imagine there's people out there that this game is just massively easier for, and I mean, good for you, I guess, but this game floors me. Okay, I remember my idea of how to solve this. Because once it's out, you clearly just need to put one of these on each of the ends. You need to put one on each of the ends because you need this for maximum height. This, this configuration right now gives you the maximum height. But you need the two ends to curve outward in order to close the gaps to the two pipes. One on top, one on the bottom. So that's pipe number one. Pipe number two, now it's all one continuous piece. Now the question is, are they going to make this easy for me or not? Do I get to just stand it up in the right spot? And, nope. Not that easy. <laughs> Can't have it being that easy, can we? Could that be the trick at all? Yes. Oh my god, we beat it. Look how tall it is. Can I get it in frame even? 
Is the, ca the camera clips through it. The default camera angle can't even go up to how high this thing is. <laughs> how disorienting is that? That's incredibly disorienting. That's a level of depth this game has never afforded us visually. It's really trippy to see. I can take us around a, a tour around it like this without actually having it clipped to the camera. And it looks neat. Oh my god, that's a really trippy effect in a game that- in a game you've never played that- I mean, a game you've played through that's never had this kind of height and depth to the visuals. It's a really weird visual to go around it. Oh, I beat it. Uh. Hi. Hype that wasn't there a second ago. Wait, 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 Oh. Do I get to take this with me to Grandpa? Is what this is it? What this whole game was building towards? It's like the first thing I tried to do was take one to Grandpa, because he needs he needs pipes. He's got plumbing problems. Poor guy. The the the, the teleporting camera is really messing with me. We have to figure out how to navigate the level. <laughs> Our day is not over. They have more in store for us. Okay, now I can't see the level. It was down here, right? No? Oh, I'm going up. Oh, up. I was... Uh, right, there's way more game than I thought there was. I was thinking of going in a completely different direction. Uh-oh. A similar pushing pattern might work, but I ultimately need to have it flipped at the very least. Oh man. We're gonna get restrictive on space here fast. Can't push it left because it gets stuck. Push it once to the right and I can't get around it. But that lets me lay it down. Even this part of the world was carefully designed in such a way. I see what's going on here. They want me to go. They want me to go around. I see ya. So the the actual layout of the levels had a plan to it. Oh boy. I don't have as much of his plan as I'd like to have, but I'm going for it. It needs to stand on its side. That just gets it stuck. Can't go that way.
That traps it too. Ah, I'm not emotionally prepared for there to be more struggle, but there's more struggle. Uh, what do I do with you? So that traps you. If I push you up, you just fall over again. Seems to have been largely a waste of time. This whole approach. Uh... <sighs> What's well, not clicking? I just need to have you pushed onto your side and then push through. But how do I get you on your side? I need to push you down from above, basically. But how? There's not like a weird puzzle around here that has multiple entrances, right? Oh, you can't even go into these puzzles. The game is fully shut down until I until I do this. Ah. That's it. You push it to the side one and then it, it gets stuck in the doorway, so it won't it won't get pushed over. At this point, I'm fully expecting to find out there's more freaking levels. Just because this game's already surprising me with the, the reveal that this is another level. There is no freedom. There is no escape. Only more, only more puzzles. the tree physically blocking our way oh no I never even considered this idea we're being blocked by a weird bush but it doesn't physically block any of the squares it just blocks the visual so you can't see what you're doing which you never questioned in the, in the past but now suddenly there's this idea that you have to do a rotation puzzle while dealing while being in the middle of that Oh boy. I need you to stand on your side. First of all, how do I get you up on your side? I can't I can't sneak around. Can I push you into this puzzle? I can. Which is useful because then I can get above you. Yes. Haha, <laughs> the bush was actually way less of a problem than expected. The main puzzle there seemed to be just realizing that you can go inside a previous puzzle in order to in order to solve in order to manipulate it the way that you want to.
I like need a way to make it flip over the other way, basically. Uh Might be able to work it like from here. Yeah, no. The entire line of reasoning I was beginning upon was moot and unimportant. Come on, we're right at the beginning. Mwahaha. Nope. Got it stuck around the statue. Don't want to push you there. kind of stuck now. Oh no. You become everything I don't want you to be. Uh, shit. I just want you to be stood up on your side for that. That almost gets the job done. Ooh. That could be good, good enough. Nope. Nope. Won't be able to push it. I'm having one of those feelings where I felt like that's something I wanted, but now I can't remember why I wanted that anymore. It felt like a good, good plan at some point, and now I lost why. Shit. That's more what we needed, I think. Oh, wow. Going this far to the side and having the camera not follow me starts to make me notice how strangely your character's perspective starts to warp when you're running around on the corner of the screen. The whole game has like a perspective to it that's suddenly way more noticeable. Wait, you're a dead end? No, I'm at the end. That's... I had to, right, you had to cross through these puzzles to start the game. Okay. How hard could it be? It's the end, right? Shit. <laughs> Shit. Mm. All right. Time to deal with having like no ability to move around. And all the fun that entails. That's messing with me. Uh, I just want you to stand up on your side. But that makes you perfectly screw everything up. Ugh. Oh no. Oh no, I broke the previous puzzle and it didn't unbreak when I rewinded. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? I've, ca I've caused irrevocable damage. Irreversible damage. Irrevocable. Irre- irre- word- word- word. Shit. Coming in here may have been a mistake. Hmm. Thank 
Kinda just feel like I made everything worse. Hey, we're back from a break. Cause, uh... Yeah. Didn't actually expect to solve the puzzle in the first place during this particular session, and... Did not actually have that much time carved out to keep going. Yeah. Had to, uh, play some D&D &D and, you know, end the world. It's fine. Now I've just gotta go back into the mind space of playing this game after doing something like that. <laughs> well, that was fast. Why was I stuck? Did I, just, I must have just done, gotten it in a weird position where I couldn't get out. Yeah. No. No. Sadness. 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 Sadness Everdeen. What am I gonna do with this? Uh, I basically just need to stand it up on its other side. There's no way to get it back out when I do that. I'm looping now. I have so few actual movement options available to me right now. I'm just... It almost... It's like the level's the perfect shape to make it almost always go to the same spot again, ultimately. Just need to be above it when, when, that, when that happens. Oh, and now I can't go back up there either, because I'll be- it'll be trapped. That's not true, I could push it over. Maybe that's the key. Maybe once you flip it, the entire world comes into focus. The answer is actually that I can't get it to go down now. It has to be like this. So I have to be able to push it to the side. I can, and I can only push it to the side once like this. So I think that part's already set in stone. And going down there is a waste of time because I can't go anywhere from there. That doesn't get much done. That gets stuck. In fact, most things get it stuck. Okay, how am I stuck again? There's like no options. How can I not see like the only option that's available? This be the key. Wait. Ah, I was all fixated on the thing that I saw as an option. Get it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandpa, you got plumbing. Now you can die in peace or whatever you're doing. Yeah. 
We did it. What's happening? It stopped moving. Hey, we beat Pipe Pipe Push Paradise. It is made by Corey Martin. Also art by that dude. Oh, it's moving forward now. That's basically it, right? Yeah, special thanks to the Bennett Foddy. <laughs> I see you in there. And I was the Steven, the guy that made Steven Sausage Roll? I don't remember his name. That guy's got a hell of a name. Sam Hothley. That guy had a super long last name. We kept going. It was such a long last name. Oh my god. I like this game. It's really charming. It looks great. The puzzles are very difficult. It, uh, the art style is fantastic. It's just a nice little puzzle game. It's uh, not a type of puzzle I, thri I thrive at, so this entire playthrough has been just a struggle. Just an absolute stru What? Oh. Oh. First of all, it says 48 out of 47 right here, so it lists me as having done more puzzles than I actually... Like the, 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 the final grandpa puzzle that was set up at the beginning of the game uh, is puzzle 48, so already the number was a lie. But now this... Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more puzzles. We are not, not done yet. Where is that waterfall coming from? There's just a vertical tower of rocks coming out of the coastline that just has a waterfall coming out of it. I guess we're in like Rainbow Road, so nothing has to make sense. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what difficulty these are. Elbow room, isn't that, that's only hard. That's not what I expected. Bridge burner. Oh boy. That's more of the difficulty I thought I would say they are. Catapult. I wonder if these are, they have new mechanics or it's just a com more combinations of old mechanics. Elbow rub. Purgatory. Wind up. There's a bunch of them. Double cross. Okay. Oh, I don't think I looked at this one yet. Palm off. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're not- not finale. Ending episode, but not finale episode. Okie dokie. So thanks for watching like always, guys. Uh, I'll give this a go. And uh, if tomorrow- if we- ha if tomorrow's episode is Pipe Push Paradise, then you know that we're- we're going, and things are going alright. And if I get immediately stuck again, well, tomorrow might not be Pipe Push Paradise, but damn it, I'll finish this one of these days. <laughs> oh man, these episodes take a while to record. See you guys next time.